Hello and welcome back to episode number nine of my let's play of Card Apocalypse. Um, this time I don't have really much to tell you beforehand, so let's just continue where we left off. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, we just convinced Yolanda that her wear kit theory is um, bogus. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see what Yolanda wants from us now, because this looks like a new mission. Jess, you can help me. I need you to get an audience to watch my stand-up comedy routine. But why? Uh, cause I'm gonna be a star, Jess. A star! I mean, why can't you gather your own crowd? Stars don't gather their own audiences? Yeah, because uh, they don't need to. Please. I'll see what I can do. You're the best friend ever. I'm not making any promises. Don't forget everyone kind of hates me. Kids here have short memories. Meet me at the playground when you get at least three. Okay, organize Yolanda's comedy show. Find three kids that will go to Yolanda's show. Hmm. All right. Hey, Brad. You want to see a comedy show? <laughs> Would you like to see Yolanda's stand-up show? No way. But... No. <laughs> okay. Davis, what about you? Hey, Davis. Want to come see Yolanda tell some jokes? Yolanda came to, came to my birthday once. My dad says Yolanda Diaz is a demon sent straight from hell and I'm not allowed to play with her anymore. Wow. Yeah. What if I give you something? <laughs> yeah. Bribe him to see a comedy show. What if we play a game? What if I owe you a favor? Let's just play a game. But the game is banned. Is it a sin to break rules sometimes? My dad says it is. <laughs> what if you, I don't know, pray right after? Okay, maybe just this one time. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can beat Davis. Say your prayers, kid. That's not how it works. <laughs> Alright, I can't really play anything, but I can attack. And end my turn. Sorry, just had to rearrange my headphones or the headphone cable. I switched to the wired ones for this episode once again. Um, yeah, let's play... Um, what exactly, I think? Where well, the talk has sworn, right? Yeah, so I won't play the semi-cat right now, but the invert is first. Um, yeah. Okay. But David's place is semi-cat. That's alright with me. Here comes mine and my tiny dog and uh, I won't, I don't really want to like um, lose two minions so I'm gonna attack the semi cat with my champion. Whoa, what did I do? That was not planned. Uh, I need to pay attention. I was a bit distracted because like the cats are moving around me and um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so an Easter Bunny and a Semi Cat. Um, yeah, I, the only thing that makes any sense to play is like my Spotted Ferret uh, normally, but it would like get obliterated next turn by very cheap minions. So, hmm. 
guess I'll go with the tiny dog. <laughs> so that way I can at least get rid of all the minions and I won't lose my spotted ferret against a one cost or two cost minion. Yeah. Okay. Another tiny dog. Gone. And a cat brain dog. Okay. I think I will play the skinless cat even though it will probably... Well, it could be defeated. We will see. Ezekiel. Okay, here I go. Now my minions have rush. Uh, charge, it's called. <laughs> charge. Um, okay, I could play the burglar ray, but I could also play a defender along with it, so that would be kind of good. Um, hmm. To remember that the minions also have like rush, so like the spotted ferret can, ferrets can do some really good damage later on or now, but I think I'm not able to finish just yet. So burglar ray has to attack. Yeah, so I think I will play it and attack Ezekiel and play an inverted to protect my other minions and ep, 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 ep. um yeah yeah that's good can do six damage by myself and the ferret does five oh, okay but it has like yeah the boneless can get rid of the inverters and then comes my spotted ferret my skinless cat and my talk done your dad couldn't have you this time shorty <laughs> Now, will you go watch Yolanda stand up? Sure, that was fun. Thanks, Jess. Okay then, everyone deserves a second chance, I guess. I'll go. Nice. First one. Okay. <laughs> Will you go to Yolanda stand up routine and leave your cafeteria duties unfulfilled? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so we're done here. Let's see what's going on in the hallway. Okay. You're investigating, right? Well, I bet you some cards that I'm right about this school being super haunted. I heard it from Courtney. She's a witch and can see things. Weird things. Check it out. If I'm right, you owe me. If I'm wrong and I'm not, you can have some cards. No strings attached. I didn't think cards had strings anyway, but I let you know what I find out. <laughs> It's a ghost causing the weirdness. Okay, so that's more main storyline quest. Hey Danny. Hey Danny, wanna come see Yolanda perform? She's really funny. I know, I got the game banned and all, but if you could just... Does she do jokes about vampires? What? Vampires. Does she do jokes about vampires? 
Uh, probably? I'm in. Yes! That was easy. <laughs> okay. Hey, Hannah. There's gonna be a comedy show in the playground. Wanna see? And abandon my hall monitor post? But it's break time. Crime never takes a break, and neither do I. Okay. Weird. <laughs> well, it is weird. Okay, check this classroom. Okay, I guess you all don't want to come. Not even CJ. <laughs> okay, Storm just wants to trade. Nothing going on here. Okay, so the library is next. Okay, Edgar doesn't want to hear Yolanda's jokes, neither Karen. Jacob is busy as well, so is Gil, and Sam just wants to trade. Yeah, we could check again what Sam has to offer. Mutations. That's not bad. Maybe later. Okay, so I think the next thing to check out, the next place to check out is the playground. So, here we go. No one here. Okay, maybe check the art room. Nebraska just wants to play me. Megan, Tara, Jenny, Katie, Lizzie, and Cornelia. You want to see the funniest kid in the school tell some jokes? Sure. Cool, you can see Yolanda in the... Yolanda yells a bunch? Nuh-uh, no way. Yolanda will be so happy to have an audience. It'll drive Bruce bananas if a bunch of kids are laughing at Yolanda's jokes. What else are you gonna do during lunch? Mm. Okay, that's just... Maybe she has something else to do that is fun. Um, and I don't think it's the best way to say Bruce is gonna be angry. That's just... Promoted by saying Yolanda will be happy. <laughs> Yolanda will be so happy to have an audience. This is emotional blackmail. Kinda. <laughs> Fine, I'll go. <laughs> nice. Perfect, it's showtime. Okay, guess I got them all. Okay, so let's see Yolanda's stand-up routine. Oh, maybe we can get more people. Maybe we should ask around some more. Okay, it's just trading. Yolanda's up there. Hey, Elvin, I think you could need some jokes. But I guess Elvin will just want to trade as well. 
Yeah. Okay, let's check out the stand-up routine. Quite an audience. <laughs> there you go, I got you an audience. Thanks Jess, just one more thing. What more could you need, yo? I need you to be my warm-up act. Warm-up act? Yeah, you know, tell some jokes. Oh no. <laughs> But I don't know any. Quick, the crowd is getting restless. Tell a joke, give me jokes, I was promised comedy. I'll give you a card for every good joke. How about that? Fine. Ugh. Open for Yolanda by performing a stand-up routine. Why was the sand wet? Oh, I had a really great boomerang joke. I'm on a seafood diet. I don't know where these are going, but I think there will be a punchline to this one. Oh, I had a really good, great boomerang joke. Eh, it'll come back to me. <laughs> You're not a very good comedian if you can't even remember your jokes. Hmm. Okay, so that wasn't a great joke. Yeah, I guess the religious kids won't like this one. <sighs> okay, let's say this one. What do you get from a rich cow? Spoiled milk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> another. Ha! Another. Why does everyone get bored in history class? What do you call a bunch of teachers in hell? Eh, once again, probably not the best thing for the religious kids that take. Okay, there's a cat walking by. <laughs> what do you call a bunch of teachers in hell? What do vampires and Principal Harding have in common? Okay, I will win the vampire kid with, with this one, I hope. Hey cat, don't don't walk right into the camera this instant. <laughs> Just wait a few minutes. I will cuddle you soon, okay? Fine, deal. Just wait a bit. Don't be so needy. <laughs> mm, I come down here, that's alright. Don't yeah. That's alright, you can stay here. Just don't bump into the microphone, alright? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got some company here, so you might see a cat tail <laughs> in the corner of the screen, so yeah. Okay, they're both cold, lifeless and they suck. <laughs> hey, wait! I'm gonna pee my pants! Tell another! Knock knock. What do you get when you cross a dog with a calculator? I went to a terrible zoo. It was just one dog. Huh. Which one of these is gonna appeal to this crowd the most? <laughs> just by the setup. Um, I went to a terrible zoo. zoo. It was just one dog. What do you get when you cross a dog with a calculator? Uh, okay, I think. Maybe this one? It was just one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. That's not funny. I have a Shih Tzu. His name is Danny too. I don't even get this joke. So it's not funny to me either. Maybe I'm just not smart enough to get it. Eh. One more. Whoa. Cat, don't move my <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I 
What's the difference between Bruce and a rabbit Woofian? Sam gave me a geology book. You guys should read it. What do Yolanda and the Sun have in common? Yeah, let's. I hope this is um, nice to Yolanda in the punchline because then I have a good setup for her act. Let's do this. They are both giant stars. Ah, oh, it's true. I am. Boring. Introduce me, Jess. Oh, yeah. Ladies, gentle dweebs and esteemed buttheads, I present uh, the amazing, the wonderful, the hilarious, the spectacular Yolanda! Thanks, I can take it from here, Jess. Okay, well, three things, good enough. We get a shadow cat. Uh, it has charge and hiding. We get a splode uh, for the Woofians. While damaged, it has plus three attack, and it's two three for three food. All right, that's that's not bad. I don't think I really don't get the, the combination on the shadow cat like charge and hiding. Hiding is just good so that you can decide in the second turn who you attack and are pretty much safe until then. But charge already gives you that option in the first turn when you play that minion, so meh, uh, not really impressed by that, but this bloat is cool. And another rename sticker. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. I want to hear it. You start. Okay, I guess she won't. Um, I have to keep an eye on the time because I have to go to the night shift today um, and I don't have that much time left so okay um, let's not pointlessly go around but check what my missions say. Ash thinks Courtney knows what's going on. Talk to Courtney. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Here she is. Scary Courtney. Okay, just a second. The cat is trying to sit behind my back. <laughs> Normally this should work and I get a slightly less comfortable position to do this, but <laughs> at least he's happy. So, hello Courtney. Did you tell Ashley that the school is haunted? Don't talk to me. I should use my powers and curse you for getting the game banned. It's not my fault that you are too much of a wimp to play the game just cause it's banned. If you're so brave, beat me in a match, then I'll tell you what I told Ashley. Alright. Courtney won't talk until you beat her in power pets. Can do. At least I hope I can. <laughs> Let's try. Once again, rodents versus cats. Of course you can't win. I have the power of good and dark magic on my side. Well, I have the power of practice and strategy on my side. Guess which wins more matches. I hope it's not the good and bad magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, here comes the tiny, tiny dog and my talk attacks. Okay. Hmm. Oh no! Wait a second... Uh, okay, it has one health, one additional health permanently, but still I will play the inverters. Then the tiny dog can't really hurt me that much. So, we're good. Another one. Okay. Here comes my boneless and this time my hero will take care of the tiny dog because I want my boneless to survive. Um, yeah. 
Right. Well, I think I play the tiny dog. And, well, it's not the ideal time to play it, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, this makes the most sense, I think. Here comes the talk. And... Should the boneless attack as well? I'm not sure. Um, nah, probably not. Yeah, so now the boneless or my hero. Hmm. My hero is strong enough to take care of this ferret, so... And I will go mega sooner, so why not? Hoover attacks and my boneless stays safe. Okay. Okay, so if I play the nibbles, now is the time, I think. Because then the maximum food uh, gain will still be pretty useful. Or can I already defeat my enemy? I have eight and I can get out an additional six. <laughs> yeah, I can win. Awesome. <laughs> oh, and I also have the swarm on my minions, so yeah. I win. Yeah. This charge boost, like every minion has charge once my hero goes mega, is really strong. I can sense that a kid was killed in the music room. Their bones were carved into the piano keys that Mr. Schwartz plays on every day. Oh, that's okay. I didn't need to sleep ever again anyway. Okay, check out the music room. Yeah, I guess I still have time to do that. But after that, I think I have to end this episode. Um, let's check the map. Yeah, that's... There's the music room. Um... Hmm, okay. Ah, okay, that's in the music room. Uh, so, I want to go there from the playground, not go directly inside. Don't know if there's any benefit to doing it this way, but, well, I want to at least have the feeling of entering it myself. You still enjoying the comedy routine? That's great. So, this was the art room, right? Or was it already the music room? Was the art room further down south? Ah, yes, this is the music room. Never been here. Hey, Tommy. Have you ever played The Legend of Hilda? The music is so beautiful. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> all right. Hey, Samantha. I can't believe the school doesn't have a harp. How am I supposed to practice? You could try a new instrument. At my old school, I played the cowbell. My dad says you can have, you can never have too much cowbell. <laughs> Yeah, Samantha, Samantha, play the cowbell instead of the harp. Hey, Zoe. Thanks, Jess. Everyone used to trade cards before and after, before and after band practice. Now, no one will come. Okay. Maybe make band practice itself more enjoyable. Orlando. I'm glad the school banned these soul-dulling games. Just say no. Okay. Let's 
school is really like treating the game as if it was drugs or something. <laughs> okay, Mr. Schwartz, you playing on dead children bones? What is it? Can't you see that you are interrupting the creative process of a genius? <laughs> Why do all the artsy people in this game say this? <laughs> I was just wondering if you heard anything about a kid being killed and their leftovers being turned into piano keys? <laughs> That's the most preposterous thing I have ever heard! Go on, get out of here. Kids should be seen, but not heard. Besides, kids bones would work much better on a harpsichord. <laughs> okay, creepy. Okay. Bad news, Ashley. There is no ghost. Uh, here. Courtney made it up. For real? She's gonna get it. I paid her a card for that info. A deal's a deal, so here's your stuff. I'm gonna show that creep not to mess with Ashley Dewey. <laughs> okay, what am I gonna take? Hello, Spitty. <laughs> okay, um, great card design. Hiding. Uh, Three food and when an enemy minion is destroyed gain plus two attack. Whoa, so that's awesome. So that against the pipsqueak deck uh, and enough minions to get rid of all those tiny minions. Then this minion will get pretty strong while staying uh, hidden. So that's, that's, that's nice. Um, and a 1-5 splitter with defender and revenge draw two cards. This is a tough one. Like this Hello Spitty is well primarily for the late game like because you have to well first you have to play it and then you have to defeat a couple of minions to like boost its attack. And it costs three food, so you won't get it out before round three anyway. And the splitter, like, is great for, well, also not early game, but, well, it, like, boosts your late game, like, in a big way by making you, like, first protecting you, giving you time to, like, build something. And then the reven revenge draw two cards, I think card drawing is like a very important thing so yeah the more cards you have the more options you do so I think I will go with um, with the splitter yeah even though the hello spitty is pretty cool and pretty strong too but uh, just let me think for another few seconds Hmm. Now I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> I mean, the card design is so cool. <laughs> and, well, it can be a really, really strong minion. Like, if you defeat just one minion by the, while it's in hiding, it's like a 3-3. Three, three. So it's like, okay then. Because, like, you pay three food and you get a 3-3 three, three minion. But even one more, you're already at 5-3 another one and you had seven three and that for three food it's pretty amazing this defender stat wise isn't that great but this this, this card drawing is important but ah let's go with the more in con uh, in conventional unconventional uh, i don't know uh the the less common minion even if they are both rare i think this uh specific uh, ability is like more unique than card drawing so yeah let's go with the hello spitty and the plus one attack sticker yeah <laughs> all right 
so we have two more theories to investigate um, we'll continue with either Sam's or Cedric's theory next time. So, thanks for watching. If you liked this, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you disliked it, leave a, thumb, a thumbs down, I guess. Um, if you have anything to tell me, any questions, any, um, yeah, like, um, recommendations on what I could improve, just leave me a comment or, yeah. Do something like that and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my uh yeah for now uh card apocalypse card apocalypse let's plays and in the future well probably a lot more cool indie games so yeah see you next time thanks for watching bye